Hey designer, welcome to my channel, hope you guys are doing great. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make this professional flyer using your smartphone. Let's check the preview of the design. Before jumping into today's tutorial, let's check the intro. Tickography skills with creativity. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and click the bell to be notified when we post new videos. So guys, without wasting much of our time, let's dive into today's tutorial. Yeah, good evening guys. Welcome back to Deco Graphic Design Training. I believe you're all doing great today and happy Sunday to you all. Right now I want to show you how you can make a modern and simple church program flyer. On your Android smartphone using your PC lab as usual. In this tutorial, there are some tricks which you are going to learn to make your design be top notch, and you are going to learn a lot of formatters. I want you to stay tuned, take your time, and watch from beginning to the end, and take note of everything so that you can improve yourself and added more value to your skills so without wasting much of our time let's get started so the first thing we need to do is to select the background but we need to determine the size so i want to use a square size which is one two is zero by one two is zero then go to this color then you use this uh, gradient color which was combined this is the key frame i mean key to the color first and this is the key to the second color so after that, one is deep and one is somewhat lighter. Then the next thing we need to do is to start with our right or ball. I want to go and bring the frame in first. So I'm bringing this particular frame inside. So after that, that one will serve as a guide to everything we're going to do. So I need to type join us. Sorry. Sorry, guys then uh, we put we put in our right top so for instance let's say join us join us this so we have this then we want to use a font but uh, that font will be noticeable but uh, not it won't be that obvious we have to follow hierarchy we call something hierarchy that is uh, when we give a respect to something in order of magnitude in the sense so we need to give a respect to this so we have this the but join us has to be noticeable because that is a starting uh, statement then we have when are they join them when join us for what so we have to put the day has to be noticeable more we're going to say join us now say join you at where so that is how the hierarchy work. So when you give a respect or you give a, 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 a make a particular a write up obvious, so you are indirectly give a, 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 give a, 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 give an hierarchy to it. You arrange it in order of a hierarchy. So we have Sunday. Then we have to use a when you give. You see, the first thing is capital letter, make it to be very obvious. Then the second thing is color. It should be. We must give a color that will make it more obvious as well or supporting the uh, uh, the hierarchy the level of rich part so uh, 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 we are going to send this to the back to make it uh, more interesting then after that we can increase it a little bit just as this then we centralize it so we we, we use our dish uh, 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 we use our gradient to see how it work anyway so after that we shift this to the top so let's shift it to this top and then we can increase a bit then we'll position it to the center again then we can move it to this uh, level just as this and uh, we have it to reduce a bit in bit then we'll position it here okay okay then we'll make sure that it's come down a little bit 
so perfect so after that you can arrange it any how you want it but follow the direction directive to make it a more uh, professional so after that we have to increase this remember it has to be obvious as well but won't be as obvious as uh, as others so we need to position this like this it has to be like this then we can bold it give it a black color click on plus sign and you increase it to make it more darker then after that we can go to bold and bold it if it's okay but if it is doesn't okay then it's okay like this so we have join us okay very cool then we can increase it a bit and shift it towards this direction so make it a more okay then we can give lock it after that the grid has to have to be turned off so now go to the shape carve out the shape like this because we want to put the date on sunday which is very important turn on your grid click on this setting for us to be able to move one of the line here as a kind of a demarcation cancel it then you'll be able to see where you're supposed to place your shape this is what we call alignment alignment uh, means uh, the starting point you must create a starting point here because it's very very obvious look at it when you are writing there must be a merging when there is no merging when you are writing it doesn't mean even if your handwriting are so good then there is probability that uh, your write-up will not be organized and when it is not organized then there is tendency that it won't look more attractive and it will be very difficult for people to read even you as a writer so after setting this then we go to the color how do i combine color a deep color should be placed or should be combined with a light color that is how it work when you use a black color is a camba is a deep color then when you use a white color is a light color when you use a yellow is a light color so that is how it work you need to be you need to notice that very well so we have to use a color that are more deeper and uh, it will be uh, exactly like this so we can increase it to make it uh, come to this level okay perfect 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 so now this is okay then we can go to our right off why we put the date where the program is going to take place we we'll have a sunday third exactly 23rd you see august so we have something of this nature then you put the full stop so now we are going to use you see black as i said is a deep color then the color that we use now is a deep color so we need to place a light color on top of deep color so with that is the reason why i'm going to select this white and as you can see it's very very obvious so when you place a deep color on top of a deep color you merge it combine it together there is probability that it won't be obvious it won't be obvious like you place black upon black then the body that will wear the black is still dark in complexion so there is probability that it will look awkward and it won't be more presentable like someone dark and use a black way black cloth and wear a, bl a, 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 a black trouser black shoe black cap and black shade glass so you see you can imagine how everything will look it will look very very uh, 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 it will look very bad look very bad and uh, uneducated as well so that's what we need to know so at time we use i normally give an example don't use forget perfect to example of how we dress to if you don't know how to combine color you look at how you dress when you want to use a background look at it as a kind of a trouser you want to wear or the skirt that you want to put on so if you put on such a skirt then the right up that you want to position Look at the color. If you are happen to wear such uh, 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 such a color as Don't a dress, forget to hit the subscribe can it button go well? And the bell icon. Can you wear it out? Is it going to look more professional? So until when you're able to answer that, so that is when you can uh, go ahead with it. Then nobody will tell you when you make a better design. You can at least even tell yourself that uh, you are making a better design. So as it is, we bring this one down a little bit and just as perfect as this. So bring it down, the, the, it will be here. So one thing I want to do now 
uh, this uh, shape that we have on the right top included this you see i mark it click on the uh, symbol beside it and then you move it up a little bit for you to create space for this so move it up like this you see fine so after moving up this way then we can position this very well without any bias so after position it because of the alignment we shift it in a little bit so that everything can be aligned after that don't forget as you are making any uh, uh bringing any shape or right up make sure you endeavor to merge so that your work will not be uh, uh, uh your hand will not be disturbing what you have already said so now i want to put our uh, instagram and everything in so we have an holy church holy church as you can see holy church at holy church so we are using maintaining the same uh, uh the same font which is a normal custom is a lot font so now you you reduce the size and uh, to to go along with the shape how do we you see some people when they are putting they put an icon they are their test will be bigger than the icon which shouldn't be so you need to take a cognizance of that when you look put a, an icon look at the size of your icon so your size of the tail should be able to go along with that so now after that the next thing we need to do copy this then let everything be in capital letter watch us live since we have a uh, uh, we have a, 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 a YouTube uh, icon here. So watch us, watch, watch us live, as you can see. Then we are going to position that around here, as you can see. So we we'll position it here. So why we position it here, we are going to copy uh, this. Because I'm maintaining that font. So once I copy it, I will just type YouTube, as you can see. YouTube. Okay then i will have it positioned around here so as you can see you can reduce it so that the size will not go beyond the size of the youtube icon so that is how things work so that everything will look uniform and when people are looking at it they will just see everything so beautiful but they can't tell what's really beautiful about it they will be convinced and they will be carried away to look at the messages the information you are passing across because of how awesome your design are or how awesome your design is so now the next thing we need to do is to put in the facebook uh, i mean the youtube uh, 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 channel names so we just have at uh, holy church in capital letter because it has to be obvious then uh, the the text might not be something uh, attractive but it has to be something that uh, 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 we have to do something that will make it uh, more obvious. So I want to centralize everything to make it uh, more uh, uh, presentable. So now we have an holy church, what you just live. So now I'm thinking of both this. So when I bought it and see how it will look. So let's bought it. So we have this, right? So let me increase this a bit. 30 is okay. Okay. So good. So after this, the next thing is uh, let's even check whether, sorry, let's check whether this is rhyme. So we have this as well. Okay. So after that, we can uh, cancel this and uh, we already made it. So let's space it a little bit instead of uh, increasing the size. Then we can move it back. What am I doing? I'm trying to make sure that uh, everything is uh, aligned and it's uni there is a uniform there. So now I will put the address and I will put uh, after the address, then I will put, uh, uh, let's see, after the address, let's put uh, the website. So copy. Then the next thing you are going to do is to put the address. So number 34. So we have number 34. Jabby Streets. So you have street like this. Jabby Streets. Coming area. Coming area. Ijibo. 
lag states okay so cool so now we are going to reduce the size and uh, have this position around here we there will be a more space in between it just as this so use your central relative position to position it well and now we are done with everything as you can see so the next thing i want us to do is to just uh, we need to put uh, a ring this to make it a more presentable so i'm arranging watchers live youtube and everything to the gate so join us join us it's not even part of it so now click on this and uh, click on this so now i want to move it down a bit so just as this move it down so you can see so now after moving it down then the last one here for us to create imaging we have to move it uh, somehow close just as this so after when we are able to do this then everything is uh is plumb like that so the next thing that we need to do now we have to go to the shape carve out the shape just exactly like this a shape like this then what we're going to do next is to just rotate we are not using anything complex like uh we are not using anything complex like a perspective so we can single addedly or manually arrange this so now we move this to let's say it as you are moving you can be watching so let's say seven eight so let's check the heat then you can see everything really work so now we must place a design here to make it look more uh, uh, adorable and look more presentable so instead of us and that is the trick i'm talking about you can bring this one back let uh, rearrange this so now everything is actually okay so now move this one back okay so we need to adjust here okay so shift it up a bit so when you look at it everything is uh actually okay uniform now you can't see anything right so now what we're going to do is this i have a shape color so which i want to use a texture then i'm just positioning it there you can use any shape of your choice so if this doesn't work what we're going to do next is this so we can do it in such a way that uh, we bring another shape come here i've already carved out a shape like that so uh, for background so which i kept but i want to show you how it was done that is how i did it i just cut it and everything was done so next thing to do now is to it's like we are making another design inside that particular frame i have a frame of a picture of a pastor which i'm going to position everything is already uh, 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 set so now we have this so the next thing we need to do is to bring in the logo of our of the church so i'm bringing the logo of the church which is going to be here so now after that i will lock it then put the name of the church which is the uh, 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 holy hope so we have holy hope okay so we have holy hope so we click ok so don't forget that we use a minus eight so what we're going to do next is to just bold this after bold it remember the background is very very deep color so we need to make it uh, use a light color for the right up here so i need to type holy shape holy hope so give a space a little bit because the custom font is somehow closer than other text in uh, when you use them so we need to use something very similar so we have minus nine so let's try whether it will work so now we have this so we'll make it a more closer a little bit okay perfect then you are just manually you new know, centralized uh, position cannot work here so centralized cannot work here to be so we need to increase then decrease so something like uh, let's say this 18 i want to decrease to 17 so perfect so but i'm thinking of the rotation should be reduced by one 
so we have it should be okay nine let's say ten okay perfect so the next thing we need to do is to put in a write-up so we have this where we say so let's say uh john let type uh, john 1535 so it says the lord the lord will not forsake you so the lord will not forsake us then there will be a two line spacing where we put we quote it that is john 15 35 so we have something like this so everything should be in capital letter so now what we are going to do next is uh i don't want to change the write up anyway but uh, i'm thinking of changing it so let's go in there because the font are not actually work when you have uh, more than one something so i'm thinking of using roboto medium so after that you go to the align and align to the center first so after that there should be decrease in the space in the line spacing between uh, each uh, uh, sentences then we'll have it to reduce first after reducing it to some minimal level reduce it very well to something 35 then the spacing between the statement can now be reduced can be increased then we'll go to the text area as usual where we are going to use uh, this no forsake so we need to add it to something we we'll not forsake you okay so we still need to reduce maybe something like uh, 16 is okay then the space there should be space in between so minus one is okay so let's go back and uh, bring this one in okay send it back once okay then there will be a rotation let's say 18 is okay then there will be a rotation let's say mine plus 10 then we see how it work plus 10 okay perfect so after that we bring it uh, down here okay very good so we'll bring it down here and everything is actually plumb like that okay so you know you are you are going to arrange everything manually so you need to be very careful to use your eye to demarcate everything just as this and uh, when you look at it everything is uh, actually plumb so there's nothing left this is just a simple trick how you can make a simple and modern church event flyer on your android smartphone using your pc lab i believe we'll learn something from here thanks for watching god bless you now let's have everything saved then our dimension should be ultra our format should be png thanks for watching once again god bless you